Hey everyone, it's Matt King JC, and uh, I know this video's late. It's really, really late video. Um, yeah, I had a whole bunch of stuff to do, a whole bunch of stuff related to school, college, work, yeah, yeah, yada, stuff I don't want to go into basically, but I was pretty busy from Wednesday to Saturday, yeah. So, without further ado, it's finally my It's Manga Time review. So, let's get to a new One Piece chapter. It's Manga Time. Okay, so we have chapter 617, the shocking incident at Coral Hill. So, on the cover, we got uh, Zoro's old sensei. He's up with um, he's up at uh, Kuina's grave site. He's got a newspaper wrapped around a bunch of flowers. So technically, he's like informing Kuina of what happened. Neptune and everyone are really shocked that Von Deacon went after Shirohoshi, and Neptune's like he's begging, he's begging everyone to the straw has to like go after Von Deacon and make sure that Shirohoshi's all right, that nothing's happened to her, that she's safe. And Holy Jones all like, huh, whoever thought that the Straw has a prophecy would be the one to let, let, let us gain control of the Ryugu Palace. And I'm just all like, prophecy? And she notices that he has an Arlong mark on his uh, arm right here. And the uh, minister left guys like, oh, I heard from the Jimbe, from uh, Jimbe that there have been increasing uh, an increasing unrest in Fishman Town. From the start, this was all you're doing. You were a part of Neku's army. Have you no shame, Holdy? And he's like, <laughs> shame? What's shameful is someone with as much pride as ever joined Neptune's army in the first place. The only use I had for serving as a soldier was gaining knowledge and experience of, co of combat techniques on the battlefield. That was all. And thanks to that, I became strong. As a child, I witnessed the unreasonable oppression of my fishmen brethren by humans. And I found out, and I found what I longed for in the ambition of the Arlong pirates. To smush the noses of those humans. We, the new fishmen pirates, shall restore that will! And you see like Arlong in the background, so it's like he's basically an Arlong copycat, basically. Well, I know he's basically he's basically riding on Arlong's ambition and stuff. So yeah, and I'm just like all shocked, like oh shit, this got serious. It was like oh shit, Arlong's will? What? And was like just kidding. Do I've never eaten an Arlong before? Yo, ow! Why'd you kick me, Usopp son? Seriously. So Hordy Jones, he goes and he grabs the door and he like gets like a huge strong grip on it and it starts to and it starts to break. The entire wall on the left side starts to break and he busts it open and he busts it open and all the water comes out. So they're so they're basically fucked because the water just came right in from where he did that. And then he like take and then he takes the water that's on his arm and he like throws it. He does like these uh these uh water arrow things so the water's going so fast that it forms to arrows he's all like archer shark Shoo! and the water is hitting neptune's men but he, uh, neptune goes and he like protects his man with his body so he's trying to shoot himself so neptune like he cares for a soldier he doesn't want him to be injured because because he uh holy just blindly recklessly wounded his uh, elite forces and they're they're all tied up so they can't defend themselves and while that's happening, Zoro does like his one sword style disaster harbor bird technique, which goes directly at Hori. But Hori, uh, not gonna take, take, not gonna get taken down easily. Nope, nope, nope. He grabs one of his men and he puts him in front of him to block the attack. He nothing like Arlong. Arlong respected his own fishman crewmates, but Hori Jones, he's using them as shields. He thinks they're dispendable. I mean, come on. Zoro's all mad, sad and stuff because you know he. He wasn't able to keep his promise to return all the hostages safely. So he's like all the negotiations with his country are broken. And he and Brook, even though he's becoming weak from the water, filling up the room, he, he cuts up he cuts up uh, the, the ropes on the knights. And Usopp, he does a new move. He Satsu, Green Star, Ravlicia. <laughs> and this huge flower like blooms from the ground underneath him. And it's and it shoots out like this disgusting smell. B yeah. And what doing is all like how childish. And then Zoro cuts off um the chains around Neptune. He tells Neptune to go free to go free and take uh, Usa up and Brook with him. And Zoro stays behind underwater. Yes, underwater to fight Holy Jones. And Holy Jones is like don't interfere. I'm going to take this kingdom. 
and we go back to Court Hill Beach, where the people like accuse Sanji and Chopper of stealing the mermaids. But Sanji's all like, "Hey, I will never kidnap a mermaid. True, I run off with them, but I will never, never kidnap them. Seriously." And one of them like throws a bottle and bounces off Chopper's head. <laughs> and Luffy and Megalo finally arrive at the scene, and Chopper's like, "It's Luffy! Hey, hey, what's up with the blowfish?" And Shihoshi's like, "Are those friends of yours, Luffy son?" Yeah, they're like, yeah, that's my pirate Nakama. Luffy and Mega fight, make it to the scene, and uh, the people like accuse like, oh, is that the straw hat Luffy guy who's supposed to be taking over Regal Palace right now? Like, these guys are a mermaid kidnapping group. Their ultimate goal has to, has to be a kidnap Princess Shirahoshi. And one guy's like, that's ridiculous. If they were, that would be completely impossible for them to do. I mean, come on. The princess is a giant, big, kiss mermaid. On top of that, she's the beloved daughter of the god of the sea, Neptune. Who was so who would be able to do something like that? That's that's just crazy. That's crazy talk. That's just stupid. But then uh, Megalo, um, yeah, <laughs> it's too much for him. He just can't hold in, and he throws up Shirahoshi out of his mouth, and she's and was like, <gasps> it's Princess Shirahoshi. So, and uh, it was like ah ah, and Chop was like, whoa, she's huge. Wait a second, princess. And so he's like, what's that? There's something behind her? So he's like, don't do it, Sanji! Don't, don't relapse! Don't do it! Don't look behind you! Don't look behind you! And all the fishmen are like, It's a mermaid princess kidnapping! And the was like, If you relapse again, you're gonna lose your life this time! And that's the end of the chapter. So, yeah, a really good chapter we got here. Um, Jor vs. Tony Jones. Sanji about to die from that nosebleed attack. Um... Ronald Deccan is on his way to see Shirohoshi. The Straw Hats and, well, basically... Brooke, uh, Usa and Brooke had to get out of there. Uh, Nami disappeared. I don't know what happened to Nami. Um, they had to get out of the castle because it's filled with water. So we're gonna see what happens. So leave a comments on the in the comment section below. And I'm just really tired. So yeah, sorry guys for being being late with this. So you know stuff happens basically. So yeah, Mass King JC, keep on keeping on. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Comment. Right. It's a mermaid princess kidnapping!